Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola. Today we put up the Lux Power. So I've done the cables, I've done the battery cables, I have done the, oops, I should do this slower because I noticed it didn't pan very well on the last video. I have done the um, PV cables, as you can see. Um, I am now removing the Victron. The Victron is going to come out. The bracket is on. The Victron is coming out. And the Schneider, I'll remove. So what's on the Victron is going to go on the Schneider, and what's on the Schneider is going to go on the Lux Power. I have to, I have to pull these cables out and put mine in because this cable is a little too thick to fit into the M into, to fit into the MC4 connectors. So I am replacing that cap those two cables. I am moving the I'm moving everything that's here on here so Victron will be completely gone. Good riddance Victron. Nice not knowing you. Okay, and here are my batteries. So yesterday I pulled 82 out of 86 amp hours out of it. So at 3 o'clock this morning power went out. It was my test to see how much I could pull out. So I pulled 82 out of 86 amp hours and it went off. So now I know how to manage it better and I should be able to run it through the night. Once again, as I progress, I'll do more videos and I'll show you what I'm doing. Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola. So it is done. As you can see, the Lux Power is there. I kind of goofed. Um, I miscalculated so you could see I had to cut a hole there, which isn't really necessary. Um, I tidied up the wires, as you can see, I used cable ties to tighten everything. I moved the Wico battery to the back. And this is so exciting. My Schneider is off now. I'm actually pumping water. And the thing you hear is nothing, silence. That's what I enjoy about this inverter. It does not make any sounds. It has um, huge um, heat sinks. And that's all it does. It uses the heat sink to dissipate any heat. So now let me go show you the monitoring, monitoring app. These are all the tools I used, a one-man job. So here is the monitoring app. Right now my PV is producing 597. I'm using, I'm consuming 957, and I'm pulling 409 watts out of the batteries. Uh, the reason you're seeing that is because I'm actually pumping water right now. This number was higher. I don't know if it does. Let me refresh and see if it's changed. Loading. So give it a second, because the sun has, okay, so the number's still staying the same. Um, I just turned everything on, so kilowatt hours you will not see, but total battery discharge you won't see. There is no feeding, that's what our consumption is. Um, I have 1800 watts in panels on the roof. Actually I have 2 kilowatts in panels on this one. And then on the Schneider I have 1800 watts, I move them around. So here we go, I'm pretty psyched. Uh, one thing this thing doesn't do is it will not charge if the, what do you call it, it will not charge if, um, if the switch is not on. If the switch is on, it charges, if the switch is not on, it won't charge. So you see we're pulling, the PV now is generating 901, that number went up. Our voltage is 107, we need to up that voltage substantially to about 200. And um, 951 is what we're pulling out, so it says, we're pulling 107 out of our batteries, and our battery is at 52 volts. Pretty exciting. Um, my Wico battery, I pulled um, 82 amp hours out of it before I shut down. So it's performing as designed. Uh, my Schneider, as you can see, is currently putting in 598 uh, watts into the batteries. Our batteries are 53 volts. So I'm pretty excited. This is it. Um, I scratched it up a little bit. I don't know if I could buff it out, but I scratched it up a little bit in the process. But here we are. That, this sucker is huge. I didn't think it would be that big, but the sucker is big. The sucker is big. Okay, thank you for watching. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please post them below. If you have to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Once again, thanks for following me through. And the Lux Power is in. All the Victron stuff is gone. Exciting, exciting, excited.